Hey, what's up, guys? VMG here, and I am back today to bring you Hearts of Iron for the Diamond League. Last time, lots of politics and border gore and stuff. I'm here with the Gamakaze and Donnie the Dude. Hello. Hi there. Yeah, so something we realized in between the break was the German Reich is still the German Reich, even though they're the German Republic. So they, they still have their ideas. Same with Italy. And, well, Gamakaze, I'll let you take it from there. Uh, yeah, Germany's gonna reassert their eastern claims, so it's very possible that they may declare war on me instead of us having to go for the work, declare war on them. Yeah. And since it is 100% world tension, democratic nations are fully able to declare wars and stuff. As well as Italy wanting to claim <clears throat> Yugoslavia, or parts mm -hmm. of it, which could lead to more trouble for us and taking of lands that potentially should belong to us. Yeah. By right. <laughs> Actually, what I can do is I can guarantee Yugoslavia. Oh, but that would lead us to a... Well, they're not in the Allies, but they would probably join if they were to be fighting you. Well, that doesn't mean that... Like, if I guarantee them, that just means I'll be brought in on against them. Yeah. Um, it doesn't mean I would be, like, with the Allies or anything. It would give me a chance, basically, to take the rest of Italy. If and... you guarantee them and they declare a war on Yugoslavia, wouldn't they be dragged into our lines? No, they would want to join, but you could anyway, deny them. Let's play. Yeah, let's hit play. Yeah, that's what we like to do in between episodes, is just debate on what might happen. We go back Which and forth. Well. We talk about me having nine fishing boats to transport my 27 <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah, no he's, he's got a real problem. Yep. <laughs> I, would, I would give you some of mine to use, but I, that's not an option. Especially because we're not at war, I can't lend lease you. And I've got Piedmont and Sardinia. This is like a broken Italy from times of old, before they unified. Mm -hmm. We've got mm -hmm. pieces all across the board. Yep. Ooh. Yep, there we go. Italy announces... There we go. The all right. UK uh, is probably really confused. Like, didn't we get rid of the fascists? Why are they doing this? Oh, man. I can't <laughs> guarantee non-fascist nations. Never mind. Aw, oh, damn it. That plan fell through. Well. Very quickly. They're mm -hmm. occupying Albania next. Oh, oh yeah. This is gonna be great. Are they fascist? Nope. <laughs> God damn it. I've switched my tank production to medium tanks now, so hopefully they'll have a little more bang for our buck. Oh, cool. I'm still going I still need to get tanks. tank production underway. I mean, I'm landlocked. There is no ships for me to worry about. <laughs> Wait, why do you have some of your troops on my border? Uh, because I thought I would help if you guys declared oh. with what I do have. Well, thanks, man. Yeah. yeah, help me push so Poland doesn't take my well-earned... I know, there's this unofficial <laughs> official lines where them two are working against me. <laughs> You're big. You, you don't need my help. Romania's yeah. big. We're, we're two small countries. You're like, you have unique focuses. It's uncool. Doesn't help. <laughs> well, I mean, you see what has become of my territory. I'm an awkward-looking witch finger through the middle of Europe. <laughs> <laughs> like, I need some help. Best way to explain <laughs> that. No, why do I need rubber? What am I even doing with rubber? Planes? Planes. Yeah, yeah I mean, you need mm -hmm. tires. Yep. Oh, well, I guess I have more than tires in as well. <clears throat> well, I'm making fighters, yeah. I'm upgrading my guns, I'm hopefully mm -hmm. gonna be ready for when Germany asserts their eastern claims. Should I'm going before? full into military production here. Yeah. No more civilian in the factories for me. Not at this point. Well, I'm I think I might factors. still need to go full mobilization. I don't know if I can do that just yet. Sardinia oh, it's 1940! Fighters. Do what? Oh, I'm gonna save Sardinia for dockyards, because I still think I need those. Mm. Yeah. Trying to put up the speed 4? Oh, yeah, sure. I guess it is peacetime. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm not used to ending a war in the what? middle of the game. Germany German right. Damn it! Republic you didn't what? need Normal. to give him it. It's. Oh. Wait, what? That's ugly. They've That's taken more territory more. from Memel. Lithuania. Our our little brother. <laughs> I. Why are they so weak? Uh, yeah, I can't go. Uh, total mobilization. I guess I can do that when we declare war on the Soviets. Here. Right. The I just got the the event. Uh, my leader we'll questions Soviet Union. Uh, oh, what's the word? <laughs> Sovereignty. 
Yeah, they should totally all of the Soviet Union be part of uh, Romania. That's totally how that works. I'm switching <clears throat> from motorized to mechanized as well. Mm. I get that. Just one line because That's I still need my factories. logistics and field hospitals. Let's build some civilian factories as well. Yeah, I'm just building some stuff. I'm getting close air support. That's what I need. Ooh. Let's uh, change this up. I want at least a fleet of 100 close air support. Mm -hmm. Same with flyers. Probably want about... Uh, we'll go 200. There we go. Yeah, I figured I would put my army on your borders because it's not doing me any good back home. I mean... No, it works. I'm alright with that. Point. Oh, I have a random cavalry in your lands for some reason. Yeah, you do. <clears throat> I don't know where where he came from. Same. I see what you're doing, sitting outside of Prague. I should never trusted you. Go to Berlin. You garrison that because of reasons. Ooh, I have my first convoy available to actual use. Oh, cool. Recovery <laughs> <laughs> rate or... So I think I'm going to do a little yeah. test here, and I think if I try to guarantee on National Spain, I'm not ready by, for that war by any means, mm -hmm. but I, I'm thinking they can still get guaranteed. I know they're fascist, but I feel like at 100% world tension, they can guarantee outside of themselves. We can't guarantee non-fascist, but I think they can. Mm. I don't know. I could be totally wrong. You can let me know in the comments, and I'm sure you will. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they're if they can guarantee fascist nations, they're going to have a huge negative modifier towards it. Like, yeah. under the rarest of circumstances, will they guarantee fascist nations, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't think they care. Mm -hmm. What can I make? I can, make, I can start making light tanks. I don't really want light tanks. Uh, what I, I do to... want is trucks. Let's get some more Let of those. Search medium tanks. So I'd like to get some tank production started at some point. Yeah, I'm on the medium ones. Hmm. <laughs> I need tungsten. Let's get some tungsten. I think I've got some maybe to mm. trade away. I'm not sure, though. Soviets have a lot of guys on my border. You have two. So, so it's no. okay, you can keep it. I'll, oh, you got yeah. four, actually. <laughs> I've got some pretty good uh, units. Let's get I think. encryption. It's going to be really, really annoying. So, there we go. So, Zong that goes, submits there to goes Italy. Albania. Well, jeez. Oh, lag behind. behind. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't like this new Italy. The other one, yeah. they were fascist, they were nice, but these Republicans, I don't know. The friend Bulgaria? Doing. Oh, that's going too far. Oh, are they going to start that's their own alliance? <laughs> they might start it. they go down to war with the UK, that would work out. This is going to be such a weird game. This is the strangest I've seen yet. Japan is still not finished off Japan. J what? Japan is not finished off <laughs> China. <laughs> Japan is still not finished off Japan. Confirm. And Russia is not finished off Russia. <laughs> God damn. Yep. Uh, United Kingdom announces Balkan Diplomatic Initiative. They're going to try to take your little guys from you. What? Let's hope they can protect us against the fascist wave. Yeah, I think they failed. Pretty spectacularly, actually. <laughs> Because I'm a hundred percent fascist. Yeah. Yeah, that's not gonna work, is it? I'm still not. <laughs> <laughs> There's some. Well, the the uh, the uh, the fabricating the claim is nearly done. Of the Soviet Union. As well as Russia or Soviet Union's about to finish off Russia. They're getting there. So we need mm. to be ready for war, Poland. I'm not ready. I'm. I've got my troops on Germany's border. I was hoping they was going to attack by now. <laughs> I don't think they will. Also, I'm getting a lot of military factories in. They're extremely weak compared to you. They might not attack. I don't think they will. But we are still uh, turning them fascist. I wonder if we turn Germany back to fascist if their leader will become Hitler again. Or if it'll be some other guy with a mustache. I think it might be somebody else. I Hitler's dead be. now, right? Like, I don't think... He can't feel feels alive. like he should be, but I don't know. I've never seen this happen, so it'll but be think about of... this. We never gave him time to do his really messed up policies. We were mm -hmm. at war with him before any of that really even... Well, I mean, there were some things, but not yeah, some fully. Things. Hmm, I don't know. Questions for later.
Definitely. I feel like I should transport if I can. Yeah, I'm gonna pull some of my guys back to your lands, just so they can be back to my lands. I don't think I need to sit in Piedmont. No, mm -hmm. it's, uh, unless you're going for friends, even then I wouldn't recommend going through friends there. Mm -hmm. No, no. That's the same issue I had with Italy. France has mountains on all their borders. And the oh, Maginot Line. line. Yeah. No, no, you you go through map. Belgium. Well, yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> on their borders with threats. You saying Belgium's out of threats? Belgium's <sighs> not a threat. Oh. I mean, I guess it depends on who you are. If you're Luxembourg, Belgium's a threat. Dude. If they were really a threat, would they not have taken them long, long ago? No. <laughs> Never know. We should do a. We should all three do a let's play where we all three play as Luxembourg. No. And take no. over the world. <laughs> you have three hundred thousand people. Play Luxembourg. You, you get like ten percent in the army, and that's it. They like you'll have one guy. <laughs> no, we'll have three guys. And that'll be our entire army. Just three dudes. I'm sure someone's done it. <clears throat> Something I don't think anyone has, honestly. Yeah, they, they would have done it just by some weird mechanic sort of thing. Like, join a war just as Germany's about to eat France, and then they'll take a large portion of France or something weird like that. Hmm. All right, it's justification against Soviet Union is complete. I'm going to I'm gonna declare war. What? I'm, I'm declaring war First on the off, Soviet I'm not Union. even ready for this. I was... <laughs> well, you don't have to join right away. <laughs> I'll take a whole bunch of land. Don't worry about it. I think... I'm back over. Don't call me in just yet. I'll try to oh, hold dude, your lines. I need, I need you. I need to be here. Because uh, if well, you're not called in, you won't. You won't uh, be able to fight. Oh, yeah, but boy. here's the thing: if I'm not, if I'm in the war, then Turkey's not going to let my troops come home, and mm. then I can't help you at all. And I have 26 divisions that'll sit in Piedmont. <laughs> you should probably wait. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll wait till the very end of the justification, which will be. Oh damn it! It doesn't tell me. But yeah, you gotta. If you don't exercise your claim, you will lose it. That's yeah, what I know. I mean, you can do that, but you don't necessarily have to call me in right away. You know what I'm saying? If yeah. you don't tick the call allies, I can sit here, but I need to transport when I can. Alright, declared war on the Soviet Union. Yeah, good oh. luck with that. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this is a bad idea. I'm gonna sit here for a while. They're assaulting you first, too. Yeah, because he's yeah. the only one in the war. I haven't joined, he didn't call me in. And I'm just gonna sit. Good luck. How many do I need to get 26 divisions? Probably a lot. Come on. I'm gonna... I'm not gonna accept that call to arms yet. I'm well, your, your little guys are joining. Yeah, oh, well, no. they can join. Uh, my men will sit here. <laughs> Alright, how are they even telling them apart? It's like, no, I'm Polish. Go around. <laughs> Go around me. Oh, uh, this is a terrible idea, but I'm making progress. I'm pushing forward. I do see that. Yeah. Yeah. When I when I see some positive progress here, I'll I'll. Dude, jump I'm in. telling you, man, this is the best time because they're still attacking Russia. Like most of their troops are dedicated to taking down their their rebels. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Now Poland's in this war. I can invite Japan to the faction. Don't do Ooh. it. Do you want? Well, to... actually, want that to... might be a good idea because they're not going to be. We would with... be at war with China. Oh, yeah. Well, no, we don't have to accept their call to arms. That Just because they join our faction doesn't mean we have to accept their call to arms. But they will continuously send a call to arms, like, forever. We we will leave it for now. We'll, we'll, oh, we'll uh, get back to you, Japan. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you know in a month or so. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry about it. Or a year. You know, some somewhere down the line. Uh, just, we'll, we'll get back to you on that one. Also, wait, did I just... I think I just sent my... No, the police divisions are fine. I want to send up my police divisions. So, what I wanted to avoid was just a slog for Russia. Guess what we're doing now, thanks to you, VMG? A slog for <laughs> you Russia. You didn't have to join. You didn't I have to join. kind of had to. You, My little brothers would have been killed, and let's face it, you wouldn't have been able to take on Russia alone. Hey, we're taking on Russia alone right now. I don't know what you're talking uh, about. I mean, have you seen where the majority of the army is? Yes, Meanwhile, I know. The Bohemian Fighting. Empire is on vacation. <laughs> yeah. Going for the Mediterranean. <laughs> oh, wait, what the hell happened to my line? That's so bad, it just... Yeah, it, it looks just like you've got some strangeness. Yeah. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, geez, hey, everybody redeploy. These fools. 
Uh, missing fine. equipment production. I don't have oh, any yeah, tanks. I was hoping to get tanks by the time we did this. Really hoping to wait on this one. <laughs> well, this is the perfect time, because most of their troops are still fighting their rebels. So we can make huge... Uh, progressions. I blame you if this goes horribly, horribly wrong. I accept that blame. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. Well, what, what, um, what am I executing? They're going as fast as they can. Okay, slow oh, wow. it down a bit. We don't need to just blitz them. <laughs> we can just, we can take it a bit more stay than what I was telling them to do. Now, if I slow down, you're going to steal my lands from me, so I'm going to keep going. Yeah, we still gotta work that out, cause I I was promised all the east. No, you weren't promised all I the east. I kind of <laughs> promised all the east. So we're gonna, also, have to, we're gonna have to come to a, a little arrangement there. Yeah, the arrangement is I take the land around the Black Sea, you get everything else. I think that's a you good. You see, arrangement. I, I was that goes against the promise though. It doesn't. It really, yeah, really it kind doesn't. Kind of does. I was promised all and the land. And also, the I'm taking <laughs> Kiev. Well. So no, well, come yeah. on, that's that's Kiev practically is mine. Polish. But up to Kiev, I'm going to circle around the Black Sea, go down into where I, it connects to Turkey and, I, and Iraq, and then the rest is yours. That's how this works, man. I mean, now you're just dictating terms to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm the one who declared the war, so I think I can uh, dictate but a little let's bit Let's face it, Poland is kind of the leader of the alliance here, so... Well, I kind of have to do what I the say. Uh... Mean you're the leader of it. Because I can break away... Anything. Well, not while we're at war. <laughs> I'm transferring one division at a time. I'll be there soon. Yay! Oh my god. Join us when you can, man. I'm making oh, the yeah. Romanian bridgehead strategy. Don't ask what it is. What? No, it's fine. Don't no need to worry about that one. I don't know what my guy. You know how, how well are you right acquainted with, with the Polish national focus tree? Not at all. Not very. Okay. Wait, what? Don't don't need to worry about it then. Oh, no. So, yeah, you're in my lines, right? Yeah, we are. Yeah. I would mm -hmm. assume. Cool, just checking. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, no. This is gonna take me... This is the boring... Don't watch my video on this one. Come back later. <laughs> come back tomorrow. Yeah, come back notes. later. We're busy. <laughs> How well are we doing? Come on, guys. Keep pushing. How many men have I lost, more importantly? 63,000? Eh. Not really liking that ratio. Let's go to Smolensk. To Smolensky. Ugh. Just... I'm not, e I'm not even trying to push through the Estonian, the La Latvian territory. I'm just leaving them to their own devices there. Mm-hmm. I think Germany's gone off the, like, Polish branch of the tree anyway. Yeah, I think they realize that's a bit too much for hmm. them. What about Italy? Have they, uh, they changed? Or are they still fully hey, going for it? Total mobilization. Alright, you, I want you to... Befriend Romania. They are making... They're gonna befriend you soon, by the way. <laughs> They're befriending Romania. Wait, who? Italy. No. Okay. Just letting you know that one. All right. I was like, I keep making factories. It's really nice. Well, oh, I keep taking factories at least. Go there. Let's, let's start making a few. Can we like seriously that. not build any more ships. This is tragic. I don't think so. <laughs> Outdated. Ooh, new fighters. Awesome. Are you still vacationing in Italy? You know, we're slowly trickling back. The boys are drunk, you know, they're taking their uh. time. They've left their passports in places they shouldn't have. Oh, we're still trying to get clearance through the embassy to even come around here to Romania. I mean, jeez. You see, with the war on, you know, you gotta be careful who you let in. <laughs> By the way, it's almost 20 minutes. Oh, damn. Yeah, I wasn't even paying attention. All right. Oh, there we go. Well, that's going to be it for this one. War declared on the Soviet Union. It's going really well, actually, because my plan worked. Because Russia's Your plan was charged Russia. forward. <laughs> and it's working. Look, I am turning forward. Russia only has... Oh, they have 70%. You know, Soviet winter Union. comes fairly soon. We're in summer now, but... <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about it. 
We'll just occupy Soviet territory forever. Yep, but that's going to be it for this one. So thank you guys for, so much for watching. Uh, go check out everybody else's except for uh, Donnie's yeah, um, perspective like this, <laughs> this episode. And I'll see you next time. See ya. Thanks, guys.